Welcome to the Rafal Solo channel. Today, I'll show you how to install the Duke Nukem Forever Enhanced Mod a mod that improves gameplay and visuals. Step 1 Download the mod. Go to Google and type Duke Nukem Forever Enhanced. Click the link to nexusmods.com. Register if needed, then go to the Files tab and download the main file. You'll find an installation guide on the mods page as well. Download the mod and extract it somewhere on your drive. Then, you need to locate your game folder to copy files, I'll show you using Steam as an example. Step 2. Locate your game folder. Open Steam. Go to Library. Search for Duke Nukem Forever. Right-click it, choose Properties. Then Install Files. Then Browse. This will open your game folder. You can close Steam now. Step 3 and install the mod. Extract the downloaded archive and copy its contents into the games folder. Run setup.bat You'll see for graphical preset options. Since this mod can be demanding, I personally chose option 1. It gave me the best FPS and no visual glitches or texture bugs. No worries, pick what you prefer, you can try the other options later. Step 4 Shader Options The installer will ask if you want to install new shaders. I recommend trying them out, click yes. If you notice visual glitches later, and install and chose no next time. For now, I'm going with yes. Step 5 Skip the Strip Club level You'll be asked if you want to skip the infamous Strip Club level. I want to keep it, so I choose no. Step 6 of Vulcan Wrapper Now you'll see an option to install the Vulcan Wrapper. I'm choosing no. Vulcan is a graphics API that might improve performance, but could also cause issues on some systems. If you're not sure, it's safer to skip it like I did. Step 7 Launch the mod. The mod is now installed. Run Play Duke Nukem Forever Enhanced.bat. I've already finished the game, so I'm launching the first level just to test it. Checking for bugs, blurry textures, or visual glitches. Play for a bit and see how it feels. Step 8. Testing other options. If you see major FPS drops or glitches, don't panic run uninstall.bat. It will remove the DNF underscore enhanced folder, so you'll need to copy it again from the archive. Reinstall mod, click setup.bat. I'll now choose the same graphical option, but this time click no for shaders just to test if that changes anything visually or improves stability. You can also boost your FPS using a program called Lossless Scaling, available on Steam. Now we can create a shortcut for the mod. After testing, I actually went back to using the new shaders. They look better and work fine on my system. Outro that's it, quick gameplay preview coming up. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you next time.